Hey guys, this is Low the Polished Edge. So sometimes people send in knives to me that require some fixing. And this is an excellent example of a knife that does actually need fixing. As you can see, there's a gigantic crack in the edge over here. It's actually a big portion that's missing. No, it is not a second finger choil. <laughs> uh, although, you know, if it's not focused, then it can actually look like that. Uh, I did have some concerns with stress, fra stress fracturing uh, when a customer first contacted me. Uh, and I did ask him to try and look for stress fractures. And from the picture, the close-up pictures that he sent to me didn't look like there was any problems. But upon receiving the knife, I actually found additional stress fractures, not directly at where, you know, we're missing steel itself, but somewhere near the front, a little bit in front of where the initial crack uh, and breakage happened, as well as a little bit on the uh, stress uh, on the breakage itself. So this is the fix that I came up with. All right, I've uh, kind of marked out in Sharpie where I want to remove material. Uh, initially, I did want to give this a bit of a recurve, but because of where the stress fractures were, I couldn't do that anymore, or it wouldn't be as economical to do so. Now, I wanted to retain the choil, so you can actually see that I've marked up with a Sharpie where the choil would be. And using just the belt grinder is not gonna work. Uh, the wheel's just a little bit too big and uh, you know it's not going to give you the suitable radius so i've got one of these smaller contact wheels and this one this one's a little bit big we've got attachments for smaller ones up until like really really tiny ones uh, that we can actually use to make the choil the finger choil and the knife and kind of like bring back that, that that function that the original design had so anyway i'm i've contacted the customer i've told him the options and he was like just do what you think is right <laughs> It's funny how many people actually just tell me that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm gonna get grinding and uh, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so we've kind of got that rough profile out. Got rid of all the stress fractures, at least from what I can see. Still looks a little bit odd. I think that choil would look quite nice on there. Anyway, I've, I've uh, got the suitable contact wheel out and it looks like it'll fit in there nicely. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, change the attachment on the belt grinder and go at it. Okay, so we've got a child built in. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I had to cable tie this attachment on here. Uh, I brought this thing back, but I forgot to bring the bolt that secures it to the thing. Not enough cable ties can solve any problem, I suppose. So here you go, choil's in there. It's not a super deep one, but it's enough that your finger can go in. You can actually choke it up and the edge here doesn't actually cut into your finger. It's still pretty functional. I didn't want to go too deep because uh, one of my philosophies is if I have, if I didn't remove enough material, I can always remove it. And if I've removed too much material, I can't put it back on. So we'll let the customer feel how this feels. If they like it, then of course, great. If they don't like it, we can always remove a little bit more. All right. So next is we sharpen it and that's it. It's pretty much done.
right, sharpen it up to a nice mirror. This is the regular plus finish, all the way up to 2,500 grits. Let's see how I did. Okay, all right. It's not too bad. So the thing is, in a repair like this, the grind would get a little bit more obtuse. Uh, and unlike a flat or a convex kind of grind, this is hollow. Uh, it's not that easy to thin it out behind the edge. So one of the only ways for us to do it is to, you know, uh, give it a higher bevel or a lower angle on the edge. But it does seem to be cutting nicely. Fairly well. I'm pleased. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this kind of knife repair kind of videos, do give us a like and subscribe. Share this with your friends. Truly appreciate it. Uh, do stay tuned. We will have more content coming up in the future. Until then, you guys stay safe and stay sharp.